Yeah, I agree. Uh, boy, I don't have an answer uh, for that one, Mark. I thought our kids, she did battle. Uh, you know, they made some shots early on. We tried to play some zone. I worried about being in foul trouble with the way they play their offense and uh, the way they drive the basketball. And, you know, we got down, we battled back. So we got some good minutes from Dylan Correll off the bench. You know, there were some positives. And uh, they felt the second half, we could get in a rhythm now, uh, up three, uh, and, and be able to make some progress. But, you know, we just made too many just, you know, careless turnovers. Uh, their pressure out front bothered us. And our, our young guards just got caught up in the speed didn't run offense and uh, we just made some tough plays that really hurt us and, and they made big shots uh, down the stretch there they got a lead and uh, you know we got to be able to change momentum we're so short handed we got four scholarship guards right now and two are freshmen one's a sophomore and you know, Brandon Goodwin don't practice for two days because he really hurt his ankle and he's out here trying to trying to wheel his way into doing things and you got BJ out here so we're just limited and uh, you know uh, no excuses we got to continue to get guys healthy and uh, this, these guys are getting valuable experience got to learn how to win on the road uh, learn how to take care of the basketball on the road and uh, learn how to play tougher and uh, so this will be a good experience good news got 48 hours got a chance to play again and uh, do something about it. Well, he was. Uh, they just pretty much soloed him. And, uh, you know, he had a big, strong 6'5 athlete uh, on him. And uh, he's going to learn to work and get open. And, uh, you know, we put the ball in his hands at the end and ran him off some pick and rolls. So was able to get him loose for a couple things. But uh, other than that, he's got he's to see until some other guys can take the pressure off him right now with us being a little wounded. Uh, he's going to have to continue to do other things. We get up at 5 a.m., we got to fly back, and uh, we'll have to practice right off the bus and uh, turn around and come back and play uh, with a young team on uh, Saturday night against a good FAU team. Fans, don't forget you can follow the Knights on social media.